Hey guys, so we all know that on the 6th of October, we will be getting Papalimus or uh, FRNBT on both GL and JP. And that is the first, the first time this ever happens. So it's like a new kit. Um, and I'm pretty curious on what exactly Papalimo can do on both JP and GL side. So that is the first that this ever happens. So yep, I'm pretty excited about it. We can test out new kits. There is no foresight in this, rather how we should play or use Papalimo. So let us watch the video, the clip first. And then we will discuss about his kit because in my discord uh, we did discuss a little bit more on the technical side like how much damage does papalimo actually do from the showcase one thing very annoying with the showcase right now is that it doesn't have that hp damage dumps it doesn't show it to you it just show you the total number so it's very difficult to actually judge um, how much potential right this specific unit does from the showcase i really hope that instead of just offing it it gives us an option where they could minimize the font or something so at least we can still see it but it is not like overwhelming the screen with it because those information to me is really useful especially if you want to know a little bit more about the game mechanics and how to you know yeah, all these numbers, right? All this brave gain. He has some crazy brave gain right here. So, right, Blizzard Eyes. One thing for sure, he has a turn hogger. All his unit, all his skill, most of them are instant turn. But that's the thing, right? Not all of us like turn hogger, especially in FR era. And moreover, whatever he is doing seems to be overlapping with several units that we already gotten over the months and will be getting. Um, I will talk about this a little bit more detail after this clips. So yeah, let us finish watching this. And before we go into more details, let us talk about his BT first. His BT effect um, has brave gain, has brave damage. The typical, yeah, these are the usual stats that all BT comes with at this point. Uh, HP damage up and HP damage cap up. Then if you are in fire mode, astral fire, um, he now enchant the entire party with fire and brave damage ignore defense, that's awesome. Then one extra brave hit for every brave hit. So I believe um, Preach have that so now he does it as well and that's pretty amazing the best of all is that he can switch mode from brave hit into brave gain so if you use umbra ice which is the brave gain mode he gives ice and chan to the party and every time you do a brave hit you will gain brave based on the brave damage dealt and that might seem pretty similar to having an extra brave hit but this one is in term of brave gain so um the best is that if it's brave gain then probably it will be affected by brave gain up so which means you can actually gain more brave than you should be compared to having two brave hits all right if that makes any sense but basically if we utilize either one of this we should be easily hitting max brave and cap on our hp dumps then he also have brave recovery after a turn so it recovers by brave and yeah that that is just okay to me that that effect is just okay um but more importantly if you look at the top after the debuff the far edge of fate debuff has hp damage receive up on the enemy it prevents the enemy from acting basically it's a paralysis and it has follow-up hp damage based on hp damage received so i'm not too sure how much that is because moving down like wise is 10 percent moving down we have rcl is 16 percent and in jp right now we have 
the Z Z Zat or something, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, he has 40% if you boost up uh, elemental weakness. If you stack up elemental, like if you have 8 elements, you can get up to 40% additional damage. So we are not too sure on how much Papalimo is getting. But anyway, if you put this all up, it makes Papalimo a really versatile DPS unit with the capability to support the party, with the capability to um, disable the enemy. So this does sound familiar, don't you think? It's just like Celtius, you can do that tree. And we are getting Fusoya on the 6th of October and he kind of does that as well, having like you are able to stack up stuns, it's a support unit and now have DPS as well. So I'm not too sure how Papa Limo would be compared to them. Um, but my recommendation if you do use Papa Limo and there is enemy that reduce brave gain, then you should use fire stuns in order to add another brave hit or if enemy have uh, brave damage redu reduction, then you can use ice. So at least the form of brave gain that you receive from the BT effect can be boosted by brave gain. So you kind of got like, get both, right? So that would be my expectation of Papa Limo on how you would actually utilize his BT effect. All right, now let's look at his kit. So this is his infographic from the Thornberry Troop. And obviously it's not the new one, it's the old one. And if we look into most of his kit, it is all single target attack. So he's like a single target turn hogger. And that's one thing concerning because we at this point do not like turn hogger. Well, with FE50, it definitely become better. But still, if we do things right, we can win, you know, the future fight, the next 10, 20 future fights in several months down without needing to go into HP damage bonus retention phase. So this is pretty concerning to me. If he's really still maintaining all as single target, oh, it will be quite difficult to decide if I actually want to pull for him. So now it all boils down to how much HP dump did he do. So from the video, we can't really see it. And this here I have some calculation, it's actually done by Theologica. I have my own calculation but to be honest, both of us could not get a nice number out of the calculation. Um, yeah. So here Theologica, he calculated his FR and assuming that it is a 4 HP dump FR and assuming that he have armor with 35% HP damage limit up, FE 50, 20%, FR ability that is 260%, and if assuming that he have a BT with 80% HP damage limit up, so that kind of give him a HP dump of um, 400 to 500,000 damage, and that would mean that the additional damage is only 0.6%, and that, that is kind of, is too low. So if we assume that his BT is just 30%, then that would mean that his his HP damage bone, I mean sorry, the additional damage that his, he, he do from his BT effect is 15%, 5% more than wise. So we calculated his HP attack as well. So if his HP attack, he kind of get around 14.5% and we start calculating the Umbra eyes, the EX, and we are not exactly getting 15%, right? We adjusted the number and we just could not get the number. So what would be the concern? Here, one problem is that this fight is single target and it's against Shinryu. We do know that this fight, this specific Shinryu that we fight has very high HP damage reduction. And in the showcase, it's only Papalimo and Yida. And Yida is not a support unit, so there is no HP damage up. So everything is just from Papa Limo and probably Papa Limo himself is unable to mitigate all of the HP damage reduction and actually hit cap even though he has such amazing and crazy brave gain um, in the showcase, right? So in that case, we could not actually come into a conclusion on how much damage Papa Limo can do. So there's a potential or I would say possibility that 
Papalimo can do even more damage than what is shown on the showcase. So I'm pretty excited for that, I hope that we are right and Papalimo will be doing even more damage than he is supposed to because with whatever that they show, I am not really convinced that Papalimo is like a must pull GL JP first FR. Okay, so I really hope that it is not what we expected. For me, I probably will still pull because I do like having some special BT effect and that additional one brave hit or that um, brave gain based on brave damage is actually quite interesting. And again, if he is doing more than what we expect because now we do expect that he's doing about 10 to 12 HP dump per skill like Xenoglossy or Umbra Eyes and if it's single target that is kind of bad right even Tifa can do 12 HP dumps with her BT o obviously with the additional damage that Papalimo do probably he can do a little bit more than Tifa but yeah at, at this point um, I just hope he does more um, for his HP damage, the additional if is more than 15%, then I think he's a very good, um, not just a DPS, but even function very well as a support unit. Because the last I calculated, like wise, if it's 10% more, that is equivalent to like 30% uh, HP damage limit up. So if like Papa Limo is doing 15 or even 20 or more, then that is a very very good supportive uh, effect. So at this point, to be honest, I'm not too hype over Papalimo. I do want to see what he really gets and I hope it's something really special. Um, we definitely do need it since there has been a long time that we did not get any special or surprising uh, events or new character in Defo. alright? So let's hope for the best and thank you for watching this video.